Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, here I do videos about beauty, makeup, uh, some lifestyle, but mostly uh, makeup. And today we're going to be going over my lipstick carousel here. And these are all my lipsticks. And up here I have all of my ColourPop lip oils. And if that seems interesting to you, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, we're going to go over my Anastasia high-end lipsticks. I don't have too many. Um, we're going to start off with the Laura Lee and the Manny Emuay lipsticks. This one is called Mora, and this one is called Lanny. I just got these recently with the collection. And they're both kind of a nudish color. It's one of those where you have to push the button and it pops off. This one is in Mora. I think this one is the more popular color. This one has more of a pinkyish nude. I do like both of them. And this one is in the color Lanny. I like how they mix their names in both of them. I think that was really cute. That one's more of a nudish color too. But I like both of those. They're really creamy and really smooth on the lips. And I really do like the Anastasia ones a lot. I kind of went nuts and a little bit crazy because they were having a sale. It was kind of like buy one, get one half off. But my favorite one, uh, the top ones, is Rose Dream. It's more of a pinky color. It's that one there. And then my other favorite is called Dusty Rose. This one is also a rosy color. A little bit more vivid. The next one that we have is Taupe Beige. This one is in the color Haze. This one's more of a nudish color. Next one is Praline. really similar in color I noticed and they have a nice scent to them it's almost like a sweet candy scent but kind of vanilla at the same time this one is in blackberry and this one's kind of more of a vivid red color Next one is in peach amber. It's a peach amber one. Next color is in teas. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of a more of a light nudie-ish color. For some reason I got two pralines, I'm not too sure how that happened. And the next one is Butterscotch. This one's super nude, I'm not too sure if I really like this one. This one kind of makes me look ghostly. The next set that we're going to go over is the L'Oreal and some miscellaneous and we also got some Juvia's Place and Milani. Um, let's start with this L'Oreal. This was a special edition with Ellie Saab. I got an eyeshadow palette with this too, but this is a really nice color. Okay, 
a coral pinky. I don't think you can get that anymore. I think I got that at Walmart. And then my favorite color of all time in peony pink. I actually wore this one on my wedding day. This is L'Oreal Color Rich. Love, 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 love this color. It's kind of a pinky. It's got a high shine to it. Oh, love that color so much. One of my other favorites is called Mauve. As you can see, I've used this one cut quite a bit. And this one's more of a lighter pink. You would think for a mauve, it'd be a little bit darker. The next one is in Tropical Coral. This one I've used quite a bunch too. I love the L'Oreal Color Rich ones. These are really nice. They're probably my favorite lipstick overall. That's drugstore anyway. And the next one is in Peach Fuzz. This one I've used quite a bit too. Okay, we're going to swatch my very few Juvia's lipsticks. This one is in the color Soil. I noticed with Juvia's, they're very rich and creamy and they're very, uh, it's a great formula. But they tend to run more on the nudish brown color and sometimes orange. This one's a little too orange for me. But it is a great formula. I would recommend it. And then this one is in... Mademoiselle. This one is more of a nudie color also. Next we're going to go on to the Milani's. I got these, I think I got these on Amazon. This first one is Petal. Kind of a pinky color. I like my pinks and my baby doll pinks and mauve colors. We got a nice purpley one. I love purple too, but I have to be in a certain mood to wear purple. This one is in the color kink. This one more of a high gloss formula. an orange brownish tone. It's called Lustful. That one's a really nice color. super bright pink. I don't think I've worn this one yet because they came in a set. This is Voyeur. I'm not too sure if I'll wear this color. This one has more of a high shine to it also. This one has a nice bright red. I have to be in the mood for a bright red and my husband likes it when I wear red so Poppy is in this color. Super red. That's just one swipe. Pigmented. Some of the Milani lipsticks actually end up staining a little bit, like this one and that red one right there, but we're going to continue. Um, this one is Soft and Vibrant Silk Lipstick Free Spirit by Yensa. I think this is the only Yensa one I have. I think I got this in a uh, subscription. 
This one I really do like. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. It's kind of a pinkyish color. Very pretty. Very silky and creamy and smooth. This one is another L'Oreal. This is one of those high shine lipsticks. The L'Oreal Plump Shine in 105 Mulberry. This one has kind of a purplish tone to it. This is also one of my favorites too. I like those cool taupe pinks a lot. Next one, oh, this is my only Becca lipstick. This is in the color Petal. I got this from a subscription. I wish I had known Becca a little bit more because this is one of my most favorite lipsticks and it's so smooth. Feels so good on the lips and it's a really good color. And that's the one in Petal. The next one is a special edition ColourPop lipstick. I didn't get too many since ColourPop is not one of my favorites, but I love the packaging. This is from the Elsa collection, Little Snow by Frozen 2. It's a nice reddish color. Milani again. This is in the color Pretty Natural. This is also one of my favorites. As you can see my lipsticks get used pretty often. Lipsticks is probably my second favorite. I love my lip gloss, but lipsticks is my second formula. Uh, I do not like liquid lipsticks though, so those I don't really have at all. The next one is in Pink Frost. This one's another cool tone pink. This is another pretty color. These are two CoverGirl ones. They're kind of out a little bit on the colors. Uh, this one called Temptations. It's kind of an orangey. I wear this when I have to be in a certain mood. It's very, very orange. But these feel nice. I don't know if they make these anymore. And that's the orange one. one is in The Verb. It's nice purpley. You can see I've used this one quite a bit. Purpley pink once again. Starting to see a pattern here. But those are the lipsticks that I've gone through so far. Look at that shine on that one. I love it with shiny lipsticks. I'm not too much into the matte lipstick, so I like an overall shine, so look, my lips look pretty juicy. That's the look I try to go for. Next, we are going to go for a very few Too Faced ones. This is the Too Faced Too Femme Hardcore Lipstick. This is a really, really purpley one. I think I found this one on Amazon. I order Too Faced every once in a while, but their lipsticks are kind of expensive. Another nice cool tone pink. And these next ones that are coming up, they're all random brands, but they're all from subscription boxes that I actually kept. They're not too red, too mauve, too plum. They're kind of the more nudie-ish side. This one is Smashbox. The, it's a matte finish in B Legendary Lipstick Taupe Matte. I'm not too sure if that's the color or not. This is more of a nudie pink. It's a pretty color. This one is also another Too Faced. I love the packaging on this one. Isn't that adorable? The little heart. It also has a nice weight to it. This one's the one in Butterfly. This one's a lilac color. I have to be in a certain mood to wear this. Usually I wear this as a combo with like a more pink ear and then mix this one on top. Has a nice effect to it. That one's really lavender. And 
This next one is Antimatter Lipstick in Midnight by Illamasqua. This one is a super bright red. my only MAC lipstick I got and this is in the color Fanfare. It's a nice nudie pinky lipstick. The next one is Flesh and the color is in Hungry. This is kind of a nudie ish color. Has a nice shine to that one. Uh, next one is Floss, and the color has no color name. Oh, this is the one where I have to twist it almost kind of looks like a lip balm. This one is my only rare beauty lipstick and this is in the color Thankful. This one's a nudie color also. I don't think I've ever tried this one. Yeah, because it's more brownish tone. I like the packaging, it's unique. The next one is Morphe and the color Mega Matte Super Matte Dominate. I like the red, that's really pretty. Yeah, this is a bright red. least. On this side I got, uh, I'm not too sure what this brand is, but if you recognize this symbol let me know in the comments. And this one is a pinkyish nudish color. And those are the lipsticks on that side. And we're going to go over my tart and then over the lip oils. Tarte also has a really nice form that I really like. This one is called Open Bar. Has a nice glossy finish. This one is in red. It feels really smooth. I think this is the uh, Rainforest of the Sea edition. I need to get some more of these. This one is in the color Yacht Week. Oh, this is the nice purpley one that I absolutely love. It has a lot of sparkle in it. Love that color. And this next one is in five o'clock. It's more of a nudie color. Very nudie. Brown, really. And my last tart one is in Scuba Dive. I think this is my other purpley one that I like. More of a lavender tone. This one's really light, but it's cool toned. I love my cool toned lipsticks. Those are super nice. Okay, we're gonna go over the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. This one is in the color 
Sisters behold, boys will love me, and we're young. I like to keep it in the boxes since they're adorable. I usually don't buy color pop lippies, but this one is an exception. This one is more of a clear, glitterly one. They're kind of sticky, but they are comfortable on the lips. And that one is the clear one. And this one is the boys will love me. This one has more of the black iridescent glitter. More purpley black, really. I don't think I've used this one yet. See, it comes more like a clear gloss. young more of an orangey color and this one has a bit of an orange tint to it and the glitter particles but more somewhat clear and those are the color pop hocus pocus lip glosses special edition I have is the Mulan lip gloss. It has more of the beigey gold iridescent one with glitter. This one also is more of a clear gloss. And one of the Bambies I have in my purse, um, this one is uh, thumper and this is the one in Bambi and the one I have in my purse is flower but the Bambi has a brownish tint to it but they're all clear glosses really that's the Bambi and this is thumper Those are some of the color pop lip glosses. Okay, we're gonna go over some more collections I got. This one I got, I think it was the Y2K collection. I'm not too sure. If you know, let me know down in the comments. This one is a lip oil. This is a lip oil, and they're all lip oils actually. And this first one that we're gonna swatch is called Lights SZN. I haven't used these yet, but that one is a clear gloss. It has kind of a blue tint to it, but you don't really see it. And the next one is the pinky color, also under the stars. You can see a nice milky pink color to it, but it's also clear on the lips. And this one is definitely a clear one. This one is totally magnetic. They feel nice on the lips. They're kind of sticky, but ColourPop is not my favorite when it comes to lip glosses, but I do like these, so I did order a couple. Um, the next one is the Hello Kitty collection. There's a pinky one, kind of a snowy one, and a kind of a, another snowy. I guess this one's more white than this one, so maybe a cream or a beige. But we'll start off with the pink one. This one I've used quite a bit. This one is in the color Big Bow. And 
And this one has more of a pinky tone to it, but still kind of clear. This is more of the beigey white color, maybe, in the color So Chilly. one is the pure white one called Icicle. But as you can see they're mostly all clear glosses. They all have a different scent to them. Some smell makeup-y, some of them smell sweet. It all kind of just depends. And the rest of these are also lip oils. The lip oils is my favorite uh, formula from ColourPop. I haven't tried any of their new ones, like the lip balms and stuff, but these are probably my favorite. They feel really nice on the lips, and I actually use these before bedtime, and they make me feel moisturized and not chappy. I mean, they're great. I think this, no, this one's a lip gloss. The rest of them are lip oils, but I can't remember what collection, but it has the uh, flower. Um, it has a matching eyeshadow palette. Well, let's start with the gloss. This is the one in Blissful. This one kind of has an orange tint to it, but it still runs clear. Mm, the next one is in Gen Zen. This is actually my second one, the first one I had gone through. I think I accidentally got the second one, but it's okay. I like it. That one is not a clear one. It has the orange tint to it. And the next one is called Blossom Out. As you can see, they all kind of swatch the same. But I wanted to swatch everything for you guys anyway. So This one I truly love. This is also the second one when I first started getting uh, ColourPop. And rain check, I thought it was going to have a nice color, so I got two of them, but still, it's okay. And that one is rain check. And that concludes all of my lipsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to go ahead and do another video that contains all of my other lip glosses from other brands. So if you want to watch that, stay tuned and keep up with the channel. And please subscribe and like the video, and I'll check back with you later. Thank you.